Cool. So we have got a bit of weightlifting practice to do as we usually do on a Monday. We're going to practice some snatch. So you'll need either a broomstick or a barbell or something that mimics it. And then we've got an EMOM to do after that, which will get you pretty sweaty. Warm up wise, we are going to do three rounds. Oh, morning, Norma. Morning, David. Um, I'm in. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm late. Oh, sorry. Shocking. The commute's terrible for these things. I know. I was on the phone. <laughs> um, our warm up is going to be one minute of high knees. Seven world's greatest stretch, which we have done before. Down here, elbow to the floor, working up. We're going to do seven each side. And then we're going to do five inch worms. So we're going to do this three times through, okay? So I'll put a clock on for us for our minute of high knees. Yeah. So if you're ready, get yourselves up. So one minute of high knees, let's go. Keep it going, another 30 seconds. Good, nearly there. Relax there, guys. So seven world's greatest stretch each side. Kind of like our foot to hand. Seven on the other side. And then five inch worms. If you've done your five, we're going back to a minute of jogging on the spot. Just start when you're ready, guys. Keep it going. Halfway.
Keep it going. Another 10 seconds. That's about a minute there. So seven world's greatest stretch. On to inchworms after those. Good guys, really good. On to our last round, so a minute jogging on the spot. Go. Good, keep it going. Halfway. Nearly there, another 10 seconds. Good, on to world's greatest stretch. Seven each side. Guys, keep it going. Awesome. 
So this next bit, we are going to warm up our snatch. Some people won't have done for a very long time. Um, so you're going to need some sort of broomstick, wooden pole, kitchen brush, whatever you've got that sort of mimics a barbell. And once everybody appears, we will do the next part of our warm up. Cool. So, warm up. We are going to do seven muscle snatch, seven hang snatch pulls, seven high hang power snatch, and seven snatch balance just to get us ready for our EMOM, but we can do this together. So seven muscle snatch from starting position down here. Shoulders in front of the bar, bar against my shins from here, up, head through, okay. Here. So we're gonna do seven of these. Just start, guys. Awesome. So then we're going to go into seven hang snatch pulls. So that is from hang position here, up, and pull it nice and high. Okay, elbow is really high for this. Down here, to here. Only seven. Good, and we're gonna go on to high hang power snatch next. So that is from here, up, and catching, okay? So there's a power snatch. We're gonna, from here, extend our hips up as the bar is coming up. We're gonna throw them back and catch it. Seven of those again. Good stuff. And to finish off, we're going to do seven snatch balance. So from here, snatch grip. Drop it into as deep a squat as you can. Back up. So feet underneath my hips. Part numb into a squat stance. So seven of those.
cool. So for our EMOM guys, we are gonna do a 12 minute EMOM. So every minute with this, we are gonna do some snatch with a pause at the bottom. If you're just using a broomstick, then I want you to do five reps. If you're using a barbell with some weight on it, then you can reduce the reps. Anything down to two, I don't want you to do any less than two, but that is up to you depending on the weight you're using. So, normal snatch, from here, come up, snatch, and then you're gonna drop and pause for two seconds, as low as you can. Back up, here. You're gonna pause right at the bottom for two seconds, okay? As low as you can get. So it's a normal snatch speed. You're gonna pause at the bottom. The point of this is you're waiting until you feel stable before you stand up. Okay, you're not rushing standing up. So if you guys can turn side on for me to practice a couple of these, it's easier for me to see your bar path. Relax there. So it's going to be normal snatch speed because if you're doing five reps in the minute, it's still going to take a while. Two second pause at the bottom. So make sure your shoulders are in front of the bar as it comes up. Shoulders stay in front of the bar as long as possible. Drop. Wait until you feel stable. Then stand it up. So we're going to do five of those every minute for 12 minutes. I can keep you guys right with the time. If there's anything you need to set up at all, then grab it. Remember, if you're using a bit of weight, it's okay to drop the reps, maybe do three every minute or four, two, even if it's, you know, super duper heavy. We don't want anything too heavy because this is techers we're working. Um, so yeah, if you're ready, give me a wave. In the catch, I want you to think about the weight on your heels and midfoot. Don't try and not come up onto your toes. Wait until you feel your heels are on the ground and you're stable, then stand up. So yeah, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. So 15 seconds to the next round. Three, two, one, go. So 
So make sure you look up in the catch, guys. That'll keep your chest up. Ten seconds, we're going again. So remember, it is a two second pause at the bottom, guys. I want you to count two seconds to yourself. Go. Guys, good. Fifteen seconds, we're going again. Go. Good guys, really good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good guys, really, really good. Ten seconds. Ready, go. Thank you. 
if you can in your catch, guys, let your wrists sit back rather than straight. Let it sit back like this. That'll take some pressure off the inside of your wrists. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good, 10 seconds. You have four more rounds, guys. Three, two, one, go. Good. Remember to finish your extension as well, guys. So your hip should come all the way through. You can still get up onto your toes. Three, two, one, go. Good guys, you're doing well. Only two rounds left. Ready, go. Last one, go.
awesome. Well done, guys. That's quite a lot of work. So, Metcon, we have got four rounds. So every four minutes on the minute, we are gonna do 30 jumping lunges as a buy-in, and then three rounds of six burpees and either six cleans or six kettlebell swings, depending on what kit you've got. Um, so jumping lunges, we've done before. Aim is to do 30. If that's too much for you, you can scale it to 20, but I want all four rounds to be the same. So touching your knee to the floor, chest up nice and high. Then into three rounds of six burpees and six. You can do dumbbell cleans. So here, three each side. You can use barbell and do power cleans. Or you can use a kettlebell and do kettlebell swings. So that part's up to you. It's up to you guys to decide what movement is best for you. So if everybody tries their cleans, if you're doing a dumbbell or barbell clean, make sure that you get your elbow through nice and fast, okay? Don't let it sit down here on your wrist. So get those elbows right through. Good. If you're using a dumbbell, you can still touch it to the floor all the way down. Okay, jumping lunges, in case you guys have forgot how to do them. Let's see some. If you've got any sore ankles or anything, you can always change the lunges to the air squats. Cool. I will set up a clock. If you guys need anything else, then you can grab it. So the idea of this is you should get a little bit of rest, not loads, maybe a minute, 30 seconds. David, are we just doing the lunges once? It's a buy-in, did you say? It's buy-in each round. Ah, okay. So the four minutes start, you'll do your 30 jumping lunges and then you've got three rounds of six burpees and six cleans. All right, cool. I might just do air squats if that's okay because my hardwood floor is a bit slicky for lunging. I will let you off. I don't want any videos of people decking it mid-wad. Good, okay, cool. Cool, give me a wave once you are ready to go, guys. Cameron's dancing is coming on. <laughs> it's 10 weeks of lockdown. Right, 10 seconds. Starting with 30 alternating jumping lunges or jumping air squats. Three, two, one, go.
Good. And then three rounds of six burpees. And six cleans. Guys, good. You guys, minute left, then we're on to the next round. On your cleans, guys, don't get tired and just do a Ted left and picking it up. Okay, keep your chest up nice and high. Still use your quads even though they're getting tired. Don't want any injuries. Twenty seconds, and we're going again. Three, two. One, go. 30 lunges. Guys, you're doing really well.
Good guys, good. Coming up for two minutes. Good guys, good. Coming up for the last minute. Good, 30 seconds, two rounds left. Five, three, two, one, go. Guys, if jumping lunges is too much graft for you, you can switch to normal lunges. Good guys, good, keep it going.
Good guys, good. Coming up here last minute. Good, so we'll go one more round, okay? After that, I'm gonna make you do a little bit of core and stability work. You can look forward to that. It's your last round, last push. Five seconds, three, Two, one, go. Guys, good. One normal last push. Good guys, go on last minute. Boom, done. Awesome.
Well done. Uh, I will let you catch your breath and then I will go over a little bit of cord and stability work we're going to do. So we are going to do some side plank, some dead bug and some contralateral plank. So side plank, preferably with some weight if you have it. Up. We are going to hold for 30 seconds each side. Then we are going to do 30 seconds of dead bug. So here, right arm, left leg. Back in, change. And then we are going to try and hold contralateral plank for 30 seconds a side. So similar to dead bug, if my right hand's down, my left leg's down. So we're going to hold 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, hopefully without falling over. So it's only going to take about two and a half minutes in total. I can keep you guys right with the time. So yeah, if you guys get yourself ready for side plank. So we're doing 30 seconds left, 30 seconds right. Hopefully with a bit of weight on our hip. And three, two, one, up. Good, relax on to the other side. I'll start the 30 seconds once everybody's up. Go. Good, squeeze your bum. And relax. So we're going to go into dead bug now. So 30 seconds. And go. Nice and slow and controlled. And relax. And then last round. So we're going to do 30 seconds each side, contralateral plank. So opposite arm and leg up off the ground. Think about squeezing your bum. Good, keep it going. This is hard work, guys. Good, keep going. Then switch to the other side. Other hand and leg.
and relax there. Good guys, well done.